Oh, he is? There we go. lights down. Uh, my name is Mrs. Taylor. I'm the music teacher here at Margaret, not here, this is Mountain View, at Margaret Brent Elementary. Um, this is the third grade class. They will be doing an orchestration, which our first narrator will tell you what an orchestration is. We've worked really hard uh, because we are telling a story and playing instruments, but the first thing that we would like you to do is please stand for the singing of our national anthem. What is an orchestration, did you ask? Well, an orchestration is a scoring of or creating music for a performance using orf instruments. Orf instruments are the small xylophones and metallophones we use in music class to perform and learn to read music. The story we are performing is The Rooster Who Would Not Be Quiet by Carmen Didi and Eugene Ellie Chin. Once they lived a village where the streets rang in song from morning until night. Thank <laughs> you. 
dog's bed, mother's coon, engine's hum, fountain's warbled, and everybody sang in the shower. Everyone and everything had a song to sing that made the village of Apaz a very noisy place.
noisy village of the past was as silent as a tomb. Even the tea kettles were afraid to whistle. Some people left the village, singing loudly. Others stayed behind and learned to hum. The rest were just grateful to have a good night's sleep for crying out loud. Seven very quiet years passed. And one evening, a saucy guy Nito and his family wandered into the village and roosted in a fangry mango tree. When the little rooster awoke the next morning, he did what roosters were born to do. He sang, Kee, Kee, Kee. Kee.
Grouse Ninja. Uh-oh, you there, Grouse Don, Don Pepe. No singing, it's the law. Well, that's a silly law, said the mega eagle. Smell the sweet mango tree, how can I keep from singing? Hump, then I'll chop down that stinky tree, huffed Don Pepe. Will you sing then? The plucky Gaito shrugged. I may sing a less cheerful song, but I will still sing. And he did. Kiki Riki! But I have my hands and chips. How can I keep from singing? Will you sing if I throw you? Will you? Will you sing if I throw you in a cage alone? Threaded Don Pepe. May sing alone your song, said the stubborn Gaito. But I will sing, and he did. Kiki Riki. Pepe, you have no honey and cheeks, no honey and cheeks, the eco side, but I have corn tea. How can I keep from singing? And if you have no more corn, asked the mayor. I may sing longer, said Storm, said the hedge tongue, the eco, but I will sing. And he did. Kiki, kiki. Kiki, kiki. But the sun can show sign despite the world's troubles. How can I keep from singing? And if you never see the sun again, snarled the mayor, and he ran for a blanket to cover the rooster's cage. I may sing a darker song, the brave guy still called after him, but I will sing. And he did. Kick your key! <laughs> down the soundless streets of La Paz, it stirred an old familiar longing from a time when everyone and everything had a song to sing, Kiki Riki. <laughs> Thank you. 
One by one, a quiet crowd began to gather in Don Pepe's yard. I sing for those who dare not sing or forgotten how, said the gaito. I, meant, I must sing for them as well, senor. How can I keep from singing? And if I have you made into soup, the mayor thundered, I suppose you will still sing if you are dead. The entire village held its breath, waiting for the gaito's reply. Dead rooster sing no songs, he said. Ha! crowded Don Pepe, sure he had won. But a song is louder than one noisy little rooster and stronger than one bully of a mare, said the gallito. And it will never die, so as long as there is someone to sing it. And there was Kiki or Kiki!
take a photo. I didn't do it at the beginning. Boys and girls.